YouTube! So a few years ago, I had one of the coolest experiences of my life, which was being in a Sweet Tarts film with Troy Sivan and C. Nanners. I got to go through costuming, makeup and hair, I felt like a movie star, ate lots of candy, got to share my weird hobby with a few more people, and met Troy Sivan and he knew who I was, which is totally crazy. That whole chapter of my life was incredible. Uh, there will be videos about it down in the description box. But for this chapter, Sweet Tarts contacted me again and asked for help in promoting their new gummy candies, which I am eating right now, at this moment, and this whole thing is gonna be voiceover because I kinda don't wanna stop eating them, to be completely honest. Anyway, I've always been on board with what Sweet Tarts is all about, following your tart, uh, being yourself, being weird, and pursuing your passions. We all know a passion of mine is character creation and costume design, so I decided to make an original costume based off of Sweet Tart's new gummies. Each piece is a tribute to some of my favorite shapes you can find in their collection, such as the unicorn, the heart, the bow tie, and one of my favorites, the compass. Traveling and adventure is one of my favorite passions, so the compass really connected with me. Thanks to Sweet Tarts, I was also able to commission something that I've always wanted to see, custom armor. And with some help from my new friends at Artisan Desvier in Quebec, we get to see the whole process. Let's go! Hello, Momo! Oh, hello! Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Well, welcome to Les Artisans d'Azur. If yes. you want to take a look around the shop, feel free. The ladies' department. Yes. AKA my entire wish list. But also, you guys like have this whole storefront and stuff, but you also do like commissions and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, this sweet girl here, she sent us an email asking us to create this kind of bracer with some ideas and everything. So now we're pretty much ready to uh, finalize the project. Yeah. So she's like, yay! So if you want, we'll go see Stefan yeah. at the computer. Let's go! This is what uh, Stefan created. So this sort of uh, gummy candy compass. I was told that like they made a compass etching and they made it and they're like, no, it looks too tough, make it, you know, okay. more candy, it's for candy. <laughs> when I picture like armor making, I picture like a dwarf with a full length beard standing at an anvil with a hammer, <laughs> taking something out of a fire, hitting it a bunch, picking it up, and all of a sudden it's like some sword that's probably cursed. I wasn't picturing <laughs> Geeks in a computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells so nice. Smell that burning leather. I love it. Would you like some sweet tarts? Oh, yeah. We created some patterns. <laughs> this is essentially like a sewing pattern, right? Yep, basically. So create the shape. Basically, this is going to be a bit of a boring part. Like, look, if you look here, you can see the anvil from my dreams. Which Christian clearly, when, you know, after closing hours, will put on his beard and, like, hammer things while sparks fly. Okay, I'm gonna put these away before I like finish the entire bag. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a dummy. I thought you were gonna like place each individual sticker like on the bracer. <laughs> I my hand is not that steady. <laughs> oh. Basically, what I'm doing is uh, I'm sealing it up because we're gonna be electro etching it. The electricity is gonna do the magic of just grinding down the metal exactly where we told them to. That's our etching dance. We're gonna go etch the things now! Science! Science! Science. Yep. Mm, no. Max a bit. This is a Dead Sea salt. What level of salty should it be? Like chicken noodle soup or? Um, basically chicken noodle soup where you just salt a bit and the top falls off and it's just way too salty. It tastes like when you gargle salt water yeah. when you're sick. Actually, the plate that we're going to electrify, that's going to chuck the electricity, uh, we're going to create a conduct between the two wires. Oh, okay. About 10 minutes should do. It's suggested to not put your fingers in the water at this point. Okay. Hell no. So basically, you can tell it's working by the little tiny bubbles of science oh. that are popping up. We could go and cut the leather and okay. come back here in nine minutes. All right. So this is the leather that our client here, Momo, chose. That's me. Le leather is, it, it's just cow skin, right? Uh, this is actually buffalo. This makes me want to try making leather one day. It's a really awesome tool for making holes. It's so satisfying to watch. And like this, the noise and everything. Yeah, sometimes the leather is so crunchy, the noise can be like three times this. I want a whole 20 minute video of just this noise. This is gonna round down the corner, so if you want, you know, 
this on your wrist oh, yeah. instead of this going up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> How did you do this in like two seconds? Ah! Practice. So this is the same leather that you did with some sanding down and then some dyed, uh, I did some like dyed jobs on the side with like holsters that yeah. and those were laser engraved like all the pieces and, hey, hey, hey. hey. And check it out there's like the green stuff in the bottom Ooh, that's yum. just you know science residue i guess mm. oh that's cool and everything can i touch so, it yep 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 looking for like pink or a blue pink or blue yeah. so no pink as to be expected not a pink <laughs> color in the medieval scene uh, change that. Or like you have like a bronze type? Ooh, kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, Stefan really got the, the gummy part of it. Yeah, it's so cute. Well, like, okay, how much for this? How much for something that looks like this? I want an exact replica of this. And then there are people more random. It's like, well, I kind of want something that, you know, resembles. So, like, well, when you so. say gummy, we're talking about like sticky or cute, like kawaii. Yeah, I don't know. Now let's unveil the work. Whoa! Also very satisfying. So this gives a free shape and then we're, then we're just going to yeah. tighten the machine and tighten it, tighten it until it has the shape that we want. I do feel a little bit like Wonder Woman. This is a Bieber, a Burby. Oh, it's called a Bieber. It's, well, I don't know, it's it's a Burby. Burby. But it's funnier to say Bieber. And then you're like... Baby, baby, baby. Okay. But this is basically uh, just gonna shave off a bit. Some dresses and it angers me because I know you're gonna do them in like two seconds. Oh, uh, with the right tools. Oh. So, shall we put nickel rivet on the plate or antique? What do they look like? I'm thinking these guys because they match the compass a little bit more. Would you agree? I thought so. All right. You need to bang it on the anvil. Uh, we can. There's a machine for it. <laughs> it depends if you want a rounded finish or a flat finish. Oh, so cool! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wear these in the car right home. I hope that's okay. Go to Tim Hortons and I'm gonna have them on. You have like, to order all the food hmm, now. Let me, hmm, I just don't know what I want. This is the end result. That started off as this Momo O'Brien's idea. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, it was so fun. Look at her eating those wonderful sweet tarts. Uh, custom sweet tarts bracers. What, that's that. Now that the piece de resistance was done, I worked on the rest of the costume on my own. Well, with some help from some friends. First, I drew up a design. I went for a very classic adventure look because I think Sweet Tarts really encourages people to follow that horizon and knows that adventure is out there. I promised myself I would design an armor kit with a helmet, but there I was, drawing a flower crown. Like, I've got a bunch of scrap bronze, and bronze flowers would look really, really cool. Like, so much cooler, and but, but, but the bronze that I have is way too thick, so I may have slightly so, my amazingly talented friend, Hog and Dice, told me they were experimenting with metalworking and made me a metallic flower crown to add to the collection, with tiny little unicorn horns on top. My friends over at Epic Armory sent me a breastplate, the chainmail, the boots, a sword, and a shield. The shield and sword I painted with latex paint and even carved little horns to make the lions into unicorns. The latex paint didn't come in any darker color and didn't match the Sweet Tarts colors enough to keep with the whole costume, but... Luckily, it did match pretty much 
everything else. Then I walked around the fabric store, just putting the candy packaging against everything, trying to match the colors as best as I could, made the pattern, and sewed it all together. I ended up sewing the cloak in about 10 minutes by just cutting two rectangles and sewing a channel for purple ribbon. And here you can see the finished product. If you want to see more of the Sweet Tarts adventurers, you can check out my Instagram for some of these amazing photos that my buddy Ishkan Photography got. These gummies are actually ridiculously yummy. They come in both sweet and sour, and they have so many different shapes. Thank you so much to Sweet Tarts for the candy, the opportunity, and for encouraging weirdos like me to be themselves, be different, and follow their tart. Get, get it? Because it's, you know, it's heart, but, you know, sweet tarts. soon and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye bye!